Hello, everyone. I am about to tell you the story of the first man who has stepped on earth, the father of all nations. But before that, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any upcoming uploads. Share this story with your family and friends. Let's get started. In the celestial realm, Allah decided to showcase his supreme craftsmanship by creating a being of unparalleled beauty and significance. So, from the clay of the earth, molded and shaped with divine precision, emerged the first man, Adam. Allah, in a majestic act, breathed his spirit into this exquisite form, bestowing upon Adam not just life, but a soul enriched with knowledge and wisdom. The angels, witnesses to this magnificent creation, marveled at the splendor of Adam. Allah, addressing the angels, proclaimed the unique status of this new creation, a custodian of free will and a testament to the Creator's boundless creativity. Adam and his companion, Hawa, were placed in the paradisiacal haven known as Jana. In this heavenly abode, lush gardens stretched as far as the eye could see, rivers of crystal-clear water flowed, and fruits of unimaginable taste adorned the trees. Allah, in His benevolence, granted them every delight and comfort imaginable. Yet in this haven, a solitary tree stood, its fruit forbidden. This tree became a test of Adam's obedience and trust in the divine command. Enter Iblis, the rebellious jinn, who, out of arrogance, defied Allah's command. Envious of Adam's exalted status, Iblis took it upon himself to mislead the newly created couple. Disguised as a serpent, he whispered temptations, urging them to taste the forbidden fruit. Despite knowing Allah's command, the whispers of Iblis proved too alluring, and Adam and Hawa succumbed to the temptation. As the forbidden fruit touched their lips, the veil of innocence lifted. They became aware of their nakedness, and shame overcame them. Allah, in His infinite mercy, did not abandon His creation. Addressing Adam and Hawa, He gently reminded them of their lapse and the consequences. Realizing their mistake, Adam turned to Allah in sincere repentance. In the beautiful verses of Surah Al-A'raf 723, Adam pleaded, Our Lord, we have wronged ourselves, and if you do not forgive us and have mercy upon us, we will surely be among the losers. The skies resonated with the plea of repentance, and Allah, the Most Merciful, accepted their sincere remorse. A divine decree forgave Adam and Hawa, reinstating them in Allah's favor. Their journey continued, but now on earth, a realm of trials and tribulations. Yet, with the burden of sin lifted and the promise of divine guidance, Adam and Hawa embarked on a new chapter of their existence. The story of Adam and Islam encapsulates the beauty of creation, the frailty of human nature, the allure of repentance, and the boundless mercy of Allah. It serves not only as a moral lesson, but as a captivating narrative that resonates with the eternal dance between humanity and its Creator. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and leave us a comment down below. Until next time, take good care of yourself.